Welcome back. Our next guest has made it his mission to save animals and their habitats, just like his dad. And when he's not keeping busy as a wildlife warrior, Robert Irwin is being a doting uncle to little Grace. He also recently appeared in his first ever photo shoot, which had plenty of fans swooning. No, Matt. Yeah. Uh, but today it's all about his work behind the camera. Robert is launching Crikey Magazine's wildlife photography competition to inspire new generations to conserve our planet. And Robert Irwin joins us. Good morning. So you're one of the judges for the photography comp. Tell us, what, what are you looking for? Yeah, morning guys, great to talk to you. Um, it's a really exciting time for us. The, uh, the Crikey Magazine photography competition has been going on for a while. Crikey Magazine, of course, being our, our quarterly Australia Zoo Mag, and it, it reaches an international audience. Uh, photography's been a, a big passion for me for a lot of years, so we wanted to create something where anyone from any age across the world can enter their best images, and photographers can, first of all, get their work out there, have you know amazing prizes, all of that, but, but also, to spread a conservation message through photography, which I think is, yep. is what it's all about. Our, our planet's definitely having a tough time, so if we can showcase beautiful imagery of our natural world, it's, it's going to do a great thing. Mate, you're a bit humble. Uh, you don't just like photography. You've won awards for your photography. Your dad was a good photographer Thanks. as well. Um, what are some of your favourite animals to shoot? Oh, mate, well, thank you very much. Yeah, I've, I've been very honoured to, to, to win a, a few awards. And, and for me, it's just about getting, getting that message out there. And, and yeah, a lot of people didn't realise Dad was an incredibly passionate photographer. He was amazing behind the camera, just as much as he was in front of the camera, of course. And uh, I think part of my love for photography is genetic. But of course, you know, I love getting in there with, with crocodiles, with snakes, with the more dangerous animals, really push the limits, get the lens as close as I possibly possibly can and hopefully showcase the, uh, the, the softer side to the animals that people might kind of be a bit fearful of. So I really enjoy mm. that. But yeah, any animal, I'm, I'll be, I'll be mm. sitting out there for days on end waiting for the perfect shot. <laughs> yeah, these, they are absolutely beautiful shots that we're showing. Do you just take photos of animals? How about your new little niece? Are you taking photos of Grace as well? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Honestly, she she is wildlife in itself, I reckon. She is pretty wild. She's just going she's 100 an miles an hour. Little Grace. Oh, she's she's the best. I, I am the, the luckiest animal, uh, luckiest uncle on, on planet. Uh, I, I just think she's um, she's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So getting to follow her around, take photos of her, and, and be part of her life as as her uncle. It's it's so much fun, and it's it's such a wonderful yep. time for the whole family. She's great. Hey, as an award-winning photographer, for those who want to enter the competition, give us some tips mm. on getting the best shot. Are there, are there little tricks that yeah. you use? Mm. Absolutely. You know, whenever I go out to take a, a photo, the first thing I think about is the story that I want to tell. I believe in conservation photography. So, for me, Often I, I end up on the front line of, of wildlife disasters. You know, when we had our big bushfire crisis, I was able to go down there and, and photograph the animals affected by that. And I'm constantly thinking about how to compose the image, the lighting, the mood, and the story that this photo is going to tell. Because at the end of the day, a photo tells a thousand words. And it's about showcasing and capturing a feeling. That is what we're looking for in this competition. That's what mm. photography is all about. So I definitely encourage you guys to go out and get shooting, but it doesn't matter if, if it's a critically endangered palm cockatoo, super rare, or just a seagull. It doesn't matter what it is you're photographing. Just think about the feeling that you want to get in that image and, and go out and get shooting. Mm. And uh, we're also really passionate about young people entering this competition. We've got a whole category dedicated to youth photographers, and uh, I'm very passionate about getting my my fellow, uh, you know, peers and, and, and young people into this wonderful art mm. form. It's a great way of connecting with the natural world, you know? Well, we are going to get you to connect to the outside world. We're, you're going to fill in next week as a guest weatherman. <laughs> Tell us about that. I am. <laughs> Oh, all I can say is, Sam Mack, I am coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> it's going to be we, good fun, guys. <laughs> we cannot wait yeah. to see you then. All right, mate. Thank you for that. Good to see you. <laughs>
Thank you. Good See on you, mate. Catch you soon. Oh.